Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and community safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers. Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com slash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. What up? This is Shan, and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Ari. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Anya. Hi. What up? Say what? Hey, y'all. This is Shan, and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. What's up? Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, hello. If you've been here, what's up? My name is Shan. Uh, I am the mother of two lovely girls. You want to say hi? Hi! That's Anya. Ari is not here. She's with her dad. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about balancing um, parenting and balancing within parenting because that's what we have to do to kind of keep our sanity. And what that means is, yes, we're always parents once we have kids. Um, Yes, that is the number one priority before work, before um, you leave the house, before you can go get your wants. Um, You know, you have to make sure they have. You have to make sure they have something to eat, something to wear, um, somewhere to sleep, somewhere uh, to play somewhere comfortable, somewhere safe. You have to make sure that they're going to a good daycare or a good school, that they're getting taught the proper things, that people are treating them right, that other kids are treating them right. There's so much to do. On top of that, you have to teach them how to live and survive in this world Um, at a responsible, appropriate age. You have to teach them about life as they grow. And that itself is a task because, you know, Anya asked me things in a car ride that I wouldn't think she would be asking me so soon, and I answer them. Um, Ari repeats so many things. She's going to be two in a week. She repeats so many things that Anya says so quickly. She um, grasps things really quickly. She's very aggressive. Um, and she doesn't forget anything. And you always have to monitor and get to know your child as your child grows. Um, sometimes that requires you to watch them in silence. That requires you to be in a space that they're in and not interact with them and just, you know, observe and take it in. And sometimes that requires you to be on top of what they're doing and ask them questions on why they're doing something and you know play with them and play you know teacup and eating fake food that's blocks and on top of that that requires you to stop being in that mode and to be into the mom is cooking mode or the dad is cooking mode and make sure they're out the kitchen. Sometimes that requires them to help. On weekends, I allow Anya to help me make breakfast. But during the week, that's all my space. You have to have some balance to where you get the kids, you bring them home, they get unpacked, they do their homework, or they clean up or they wash their hands or they change their clothes and you tell them to go find something to do. You have to have those breaks in between of you 
waking up, getting yourself ready, getting them ready, uh, getting in the car, dropping them off, and then going to work. And then after you leave work, what do you have to do? You got to go pick them up, have them in the car, go get something to cook or um, run an errand, bring them home, and then it's all them until it's time for them to go to bed. So it is very exhausting to parent, but you have to balance it out some way, somehow. They have time in the day where you're not around. You have time in the day where they're not around. I love the time between me dropping them off at school and driving to work. Sometimes I listen to music. Sometimes I drive in silence. Sometimes I roll all the windows down and um, listen to a show. And I just, I'm just in my zone. When I leave work, that's my time too. Sometimes I may stop to go get something that I don't want to share with them. Sometimes I stop to uh, shop in peace without them wanting something or reaching for something out the cart. Sometimes I leave work and I go straight to go pick them up. Sometimes if I get in that parking lot early, I am sitting in that car just having my time. You know what I'm saying? Having some Chantal time, some Shan time, some downtime, some time away from my kids. And then I take a deep breath in and I walk into that school. I sign them out. I gather in things and I gather them. And, you know, sometimes I may talk to their teachers to see, you know, how they were today, what happened. And then that whole conversation ride home is me questioning Anya and talking to them about what happened today. Um, what did they learn? What did they do? And then Anya returns and she asks me, so how was work? And, you know, I did have a little discussion with her. And, you know, she asks me if we're going to my brother's shop. Because we frequently stop through there. Um, or she asks me if we need anything from the store. Because she sees, like, the routine of when we have times to go to the store. So even she notices it today. I didn't go straight home. I um, took a different way from her school. I went to the 24-hour post office because this is the last week for me to turn in all my tax stuff. Um, Then I was like, you know what? Since I don't have Ari, let's go get our nails done. So I took her with me to go get our toes done. So we got our toes done. From there, I was gonna go to the beauty supply store, but they were already closed, so I just got in the car. I wanted to stop for gas, but I have a thing with gas stations who have the card option at the pump, but you put your card in and it doesn't work, I will quietly, without hesitation, put the gas cap back on my car um, thing, lock it, get back in my car and drive off and go to a whole different gas station. That is an inconvenience, especially when you have kids and you don't want to unbuckle them, lock your door, take them in, pay, come back out, put them back in, put their seatbelts on, lock the door, pump your gas, then get back in. That's a lot. So if you have the card option on your gas pump, people, please make sure it works. It is 2019. There is no reason why your gas pump car thing is not working, okay? Get with it. Why do you have a business if you are not up with the times? So, I didn't get gas. So, I told her on our way home, I said, you know what? I didn't get gas. Um, But that means we have to leave in the morning on time. I have three alarms for the morning. So when that first alarm goes off on you, I need you to get up. I need you to not lay there, not have any hesitation. I need you to be quick. And she said, okay. So we're going to see how tomorrow morning goes. But yeah, the three alarms are for one, the warning that uh, it's around time to wake up, but you still got at least 15 minutes. The second one is at 533 because I feel like if I don't do like 5.30 I then gave myself 3 minutes like it's a 3 minute treat that I just gave myself so it's 5.33 that's my second alarm that goes off that's when I have to get up if I don't get up I'm going to be late so I get up um, I get myself ready then I wake up 
Anya halfway because she can get herself ready for the most part. And, you know, I set herself up for toothbrush, her mouthwash. I let her clothes out. Um, I give her her shoes that she's wearing. I give her the option of what she can eat really quick, either yogurt or cereal. Or you can just eat at school. Then, Ari's the last person that I get ready because she is not a morning child. She whines. She, she hits. She doesn't want to roll over. She fights you to put on her shirt. Once you bring the shoes out, she would open one eye and check to see what shoes you're putting on her. If you're putting on a shoe that she doesn't want, she's going to have all hell break loose and scream and cry and kick until you put the shoe on that she wants to wear. Her dad does not believe me that she does this, but majority of the time, the shoes that she, he gets her, she never wants to wear. And so when he sees her, she's like, why she got on these Timberlands? Why she got on these Hello Kitty boots? Because shoes, because that's what she wants to wear. That's what she wants to wear. So, um, you know, you have to find your balance. Um, friends will help you find your balance when it comes to kids. Sometimes um, my friend Chrissy will get the girls or she will ask me through text, do you need me to get the girls this week? Um, is there a night that you want to yourself? Which I appreciate. Have you some friends that notice, hey, you are mom all the time. Do you need a break? Do you need some help? Um, I can get the girls this week or this day or for the weekend. Um, it's cool. Even in the times that the girls are not around me. Anya, you are so annoying. Why do you want this one? Go away. You don't need this right now. Go away. So, um, even when the girls are not around me, I still find, like, an errand to run or something to do. Like, I don't know how to fully relax all the time, all the way. So, I'm always doing something that would probably be, be easier because they're not around when I should be relaxing. Ten, nine out of ten times when I'm supposed to be relaxing... I'm not. Okay, there's only one time that I've actually taken a long day nap or went to go do something relaxing for myself. I really don't relax. I just find something that's easier to do when they're not around. So that balance is going to keep you less frustrated. Have your time away from your kids. Have your time with your kids. If you are married, have your time with your spouse where your, the kids are not around. Listen... I've tried to have personal time with the person I'm with, with my children in the same house. It is hard. It requires locked doors. It requires um, them having downtime. It requires them focus on something else. Uh, I don't know how married people do it, but hmm, you got to be creative, I guess. Um, yeah, you have to find some balance in parenting. You have to find some balance in being inter you know, interactive with the things that they like and uh, the things that they want to do. You have to find some time to where they can play by themselves or they can play with other kids. I try to um, have weekends where they go do different things where it's not the same thing every weekend uh i really look for things that will not require me to spend a lot of money uh because i have bills to pay uh so you can easily take them to the park you can take them uh to different parks you can take them to uh indoor play places that are inexpensive always look for coupons i always check um websites to see if they have coupons there's a website that you could go on to have your kids skate free if they're under 10 so always look for that that will be way more inexpensive than you just going there and paying the full price so there's always ways in atlanta in georgia to find something to make your kids do that's fun and exciting and new so i would look for that but please balance the parenting because these kids will drive you crazy if you don't balance it my name is shan i will tell you no lies y'all have a great night Deuces. This past 
week and created a um, little shop, a cozy womb. So it's cozy womb shop dot big cartel dot com and there's some t-shirts on there where I use artwork it's my five-year-old's artwork she has artwork all over my house and when my friends come here I give some to them she gives them to them I mail them to my mom I mail them to my cousins anything to get out her clutter and my walls are filled with it so I was like let me see if I could night like, do something beneficial with these so I put them on some t-shirts um, they're on the site. I have it up on Cozy Moon Pod on my IG. And just check it out. And if you see something on there um, that you like, it could be her t-shirt with her artwork on it. Or um, some products with uh, pictures of the artwork I have in my house. That way we can get Cozy Moon from my home to your home. Peace. Good night, good night, good night, good night. <laughs> hey there. Did you know Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Kroger app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Kroger today. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and communities safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers.